Hi everyone, this is Daniel Marks with my second FDDS blog post. Today's question is as follows. How does your subconscious mind impact your ability to develop relationships? And how do your relationships impact how you carry yourself? This is a very good question. It's probably my favorite one we've done so far. And I have a lot of experience with how people perceive me and how I didn't really like how they perceived me. All throughout pretty much middle school, people thought of me as the weird shy kid and I really kept to myself and they probably didn't think I had any ability and that I was and that I exuded any type of leadership which was true I didn't enjoy leadership positions at all I was afraid of them I didn't like to talk in large groups it scared me I didn't really want to know how people thought about me so I just avoided the situation altogether once I got to high school that changed a little bit but I was still a little shy in ninth grade tenth grade is where it all changed well, the summer of 10th grade, I should say, when I went to New Mexico for a writing camp. This writing camp exposed me to a, self, a part of myself I really didn't even know I had going for me. I went to New Mexico for two weeks by myself. I didn't have a phone that worked, no Wi-Fi, no computer access, no iPods allowed. I couldn't even talk on my phone. We all, all the people in the camp had to share one phone, and it was just not the best condition so that situation taught me i can pretty much do anything and get through it and that i can talk to people and that people weren't going to judge me for who i was they were going to accept me so once i got that in my head i realized i can do things so i got back to georgia and i just tried to do as much leadership as i could and i thought it was fun and my um how people perceived me changed so instead of people thinking I was a weird shy kid, they thought I was a leader, and that really made me feel really, really nice. So my relationships with people changed. Instead of thinking of me as a minuscule thing that was less than everyone else, people thought of me as a leader, and I really just, I valued that New Mexico trip wholeheartedly. And my relationships impact how I carry myself because... I'm really selective with who I'm friends with. This might be a bad thing. I know I kind of keep to myself when I'm in weird situations with people I'm not comfortable with, but that's kind of like my um, way of just protecting myself from any harm. So when I'm around people that I'm not particularly fond of, I just shut down. So my relationships pretty much go as follows. I like to be with people that benefit from me and I benefit from them. So I like to be friends with people that are really focused on what they want to do with their life. Like I'm the person who wants to go to law school. My friend Anika, who's my best friend, she wants to be an engineer or she wants to go to med school. So we just focus on what we want to do in our future and we benefit from each other. I motivate her to do what she wants to do with her life. She motivates me. So it's a really cool dynamic. I hope I can broaden who I'm friends with and be more accepting and open to other people's personalities, traits, experiences. So I'm excited for the future. Um, yep, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.